I had an emergency service call this morning. Uh, it's Sunday morning on a walk-in freezer. When I arrived, I checked power at the condensed unit, it had 2083 phase, which was correct, but my evaporators had no power, which led me to investigate further to find something a little bit different, not too crazy, but a little bit different in that the evaporator had its own power source. The evaporator had its own 208 single phase breaker. That breaker happened to be tripped. So I turned the breaker off. I did not re I did not turn it back on. I went into the evaporator and I tested everything. I checked all the wires and connections to ground to make sure nothing was grounded out. I spun both of the evaporator fan motors to make sure none of them were locked up. When I didn't find anything there, I dug a little bit deeper. I pulled the evaporator fan guards off and I actually found the problem. There was a shorted out wire behind one of the evaporator fan motors and it had shorted against the fin pack or the aluminum fins of the evaporator. We were extremely lucky when that shorted out that it didn't blow a hole in the evaporator coil. And the reason why I bring that up is, is you know, it's really easy for us to go in there and see a trip breaker and reset it and see what happens. We were extremely lucky in the first place it didn't blow a hole in the coil and the odds of it not blowing a hole in the coil the second time were pretty slim. So had I just reset that breaker, there's a very good chance I could have turned that two and a half hour service call into, you know, a four to six hour waste my, ruin my entire Sunday kind of a service call. Okay, so what I was able to do was go in there and uh, change the fan motor that had the electrical short and then repair the wiring. So I just want to make sure that when you guys are out there doing these service calls, I always tell people not to reset breakers until they investigate. You know, I can't control the staff of the facility that called me. But at least the technicians that work with me, I try to get them in that mindset of don't just go in there and reset a circuit breaker. I've told stories in some of my other videos where I've had them bite me in the butt. And this one could have been the same situation. It wouldn't have been my fault, but there could have been some things I've done, I could have done to prevent it had I turned that breaker back on and it blown a hole in the evaporator.